there you are. Hi to Mike, come and join me, my friend. Have you had a good day? Have you been happy all day? Or maybe like the character in this book, you might have had a grumpy start to the day. Well, sometimes that happens, doesn't it? Well, this character here is called Little Tiger. He's the little tiger with the big temper. It's a story by Jitami Hare, with illustrations by Tanya Meneke. And this book includes an audio book and a guided meditation. But if you're nice and comfy, let's find out now what made this little tiger have a big temper. Are you nice and comfy? Well, let's begin. Tootles was a tiger cub who loved to laugh with joy. But on this day, he woke up like a very grumpy boy. He didn't want to dance or play or give his mama a kiss. His claws were scratchy, his tail twitchy, and all he'd say was, Hiss. That is grumpy, isn't it? When his mama offered breakfast, he lay down on the floor. He kicked and cried, I don't want breakfast anymore. His papa asked for a high five, but Tootles scowled. I'm going to the river where nobody is allowed. That little tiger cub was in an almighty huff. He stamped and he stomped till he ran out of puff. And then when he wasn't sure what else to do, he sat beside the water, feeling rather blue. Pippin the gibbon was high up in a tree. I think I can help him, she thought. Let me see. She swung down and gave his shoulder a tap until Tootles turned around and roared, Who is that? With all the courage she could muster, Pippin squeaked, It seems you're in a fluster. I am, grumbled Tootles. I'm in no mood for fun. That's okay, she said. I just wondered why you're glum. He stretched his stripy legs and let out a toothy yawn. His little face now looked so very tired and forlorn. Last night, I didn't sleep well. I had a scary dream. Maybe that's the reason why I am feeling mean. Aha, Pippin said. I understand you feeling cranky. I've had nightmares about losing my blankie. It's okay to have this mood, and it likely won't last long. It doesn't make you bad, nor does it make you wrong. She sat beside him, patted his big furry paw, and asked if he would like to learn a mindful pause. Tootle's ears pricked up, curious about this new thing. It's easy, she smiled. Just describe what you're feeling. Have you tried a mindful pause before? All was quiet while the tiger sat deep in thought. And then when he was ready, he began to talk. My feet want to stomp and my head feels stormy. My chest has a growl and my nails feel like clawing. I understand, said Pippin, but never you fear. You have a good friend in me, and I'm right here. I can teach you a way to use your breath, to help you feel calm, and to put your mind at rest. Tell me, Tootle said, keen to learn a cool new trick. OK, agreed Pippin. Let's find a comfy place to sit. So beneath a grand old tree, Tootle snuggled his bum. Now count to four in your head, using air 
to fill your tum. One, two, three, four. Tootles took a deep breath in. Now slowly let the air out, said the clever Gibbon Pippin. Tootles was confused. He asked his friend, Is that all? Yes, it's very simple, she said. Shall we do some more? The friends sat quietly, taking big breaths in and out. Cool air in their noses and warm air out their mouths. Just like two balloons, their bellies filled with air. And with each breath, change began to happen there. Tootle started to feel that this still moment was a gift. He noticed beauty around him that made his spirit lift. The sun warming his back, the cool breeze in the air, bird song in the trees, and insects buzzing everywhere. Hey, I'm not grumpy, Tootles leapt up in surprise. Pippin winked at him. I guess that makes me wise. You can use this trick morning, afternoon or night, especially if you're grumpy or just not feeling right. Tootles did a dance. Thank you, my friend Pippin. Instead of running from me, you took time to listen. Now that his grisly mood had gone away, Tootles had an important thing left to do today. With his tail between his legs, trying to be brave, he tiptoed in to find his family in the cave. I'm sorry, he said. I'm not so nice when in a grump. His mama said, we love you, even when you're in a funk. Then they had a cuddle, and all three tigers grinned as they sat down to their breakfast, high-fived, and got stuck in. The end. Now, at the back of the book, there's a note for parents, teachers and caregivers, and some ideas for reminding you how to do that breathing when you're feeling a bit grumpy and a bit upset. Hey, would you like to try that with me now? Make yourself nice and comfy and put your hands on your tummy like this. Are you ready? All you have to do is breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Can you feel your tummy getting fuller as you breathe the air in? See if you can make your tummy move instead of your chest. Breathing like that gives us a chance to calm down. Relax, let go. And if you're feeling grumpy and use that special technique, then hopefully you won't feel grumpy anymore. Did you enjoy that story? The little tiger with the big temper? Well, if you want to find out more, I'll put a link down below for the audiobook and the guided meditation on SoundCloud. But you can visit the little tiger with the big temper.com That's the website of the author, Jetami Hare. Give it a go. Maybe next time you feel grumpy. And when you're ready for a story, come back. I've got lots more stories for us. See you soon, my friend. Kakite. Ka